Hi, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. Awareness for the week. We have the Six of Wands and we have the King of Swords. So the Six of Wands, we see the man here standing with the lion. He's on top of the little uh, mountain here and we see perhaps some wands below. This is a card of success, of achievement, of putting in the time and the energy and the work and the discipline in order for you to reach your goal, in order to reach and complete whatever it is that you've been working on. Whether it's related to a relationship, a home project, the office, exercise goals, there's a sense here that you have been leading, leading your charge, leading your way into, um, being successful. And now's the time to be recognized for that. Now's the time to enjoy the reward. Number one, people are watching. Perhaps they're inspired by what you've done. The office, maybe you end up getting a nice bonus or you have a nice email from your supervisor, but here's the chance for you. Everything that's gone before in order for you to be able to sit up here, to stand up here is, um, it's your time to shine. It's your time to, um, be grateful for what you've accomplished. Again, we see this lion. We, we think of the courage that it takes sometimes to have a project and to put in the energy and to put in the focus. So this tells me that you're going to have success in whatever it is that you've been working on. So with the six of wands, we have the king of swords and the king of swords sits here. Uh, he has his sword. He's looking straight at us. And this is about, um, very smart thinking of really being analytical and clever and uh, doing your research on issues or matters that, that you face this week. Pay attention to what's going on. Understand what's happening. Think about things as they really are. The king would maybe set aside the emotional value of the, the situation or the scenario. But for you, this is using these, this, the, the king attributes. It's about, um, again, getting to the truth of the matter, cutting out anything that doesn't fit, anything that doesn't assist your understanding and being able to logically process what you're taking in the facts, the data, you know, this, the, whatever people are saying, you're getting to really the truth of the matter. We often may think of a King of Swords type of person as a lawyer or as a judge and who's using what's coming in. And he's kind of staying right to the, to the facts. So as you have this week move on, it's up to you to not get, uh, swept off to the side by gossip or hearsay or, uh, things that don't really contribute to the, the issues that you face or the matters that you face. The King of Swords would also bring forth an energy to cut out anything that isn't helping really to put it on hold, to put it in time out, to just remove it. Why? Because that's going to help you ultimately will help you. And it, it's, it's very precise and surgical. It's using your smarts, using your intelligence to problem solve, to address matters that maybe are going a little bit wobbly and that you need to have the presence of mind and you have to be informed. You have to know how you're going to work this out. And you do have this, but you do have the ability to do so. And I would also say that with this six of wands, this type of king of swords approach helps people become successful. So here, in terms of guidance, interestingly, we have the Four of Swords and we have the Nine of Swords. The Four of Swords is a uh, indication. You see the woman here laying down in the snow with the swords, holding onto a sword. And this is about out of these stressful situations that you have, to try to find some time for yourself, 
perhaps in solitude, in order to rest, to restore, and to recover. It's a way of resetting and it's a way of re-energizing yourself. And this might help you have a new approach. It may help you to think about things. And as you're thinking about things, you may go back to the situation a little bit in a better position. It doesn't mean that when you take this time out and you're resting, you may be meditating, you may be praying, you may be simply sitting in quiet reflection. It doesn't mean that the problem or the scenario goes away. It's how you come back to it. You either come back with a fresh approach or energetically you're in a better place than where you were. So what's interesting here is with the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, this is a card of stress, of worry, sleepless nights. Something is on your mind this week that is causing you this worry. And maybe it's the enormous amount of things that we have to do at the end of the year, where we feel that we're stretched in so many different directions. And that can lead to worry. For some of you, it may be something else that's happened that someone has hurt you or, or you have learned information that is upsetting or you're just dealing with something that is a tough situation and yes it keeps you up at night and um, unfortunately this happens to everybody and so how do we get out of these moments of like a nine of swords we really have to think about the simple things in life, which is the next day the sun comes up, you put your foot out of the bed, you stand up and you try to count your blessings and think about what you can do well today. But it is exhausting, exhausting, excuse me. The nine of swords is exhausting because when you lose sleep, when you have so much on your mind, it's just so much going on. You think that you're never going to have peace. But it is one day at a time to think about how am I going to get away from this? How am I going to improve my level of emotions and my vibration? I have to count my blessings. I have to focus on something that might distract me from this feeling. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have the Ace of Swords, and we have Strength, the Major Arcana. So the Ace of Swords, again, it's the gift or blessing from the universe, and it's the power of the sword. It's the power for clarity, for you to find the truth in the life that you're leading, the truth perhaps in relationships or about your job or about your friendships or about your potential or your future. You have to really think about what's going on. This Ace of Swords may say to you, you need a new approach. You need to start thinking in a different way. You need to shift how you are analyzing and, and putting your reasoning to this issue. So the Ace of Swords, powerful, related to thoughts, innovation, new ideas, new approaches, and again, Clarity and communication, cutting out what does not serve you, focusing surgically right on what you need to know in order to move forward, in order to get away from this nine of swords worry feeling. Focus on the facts, be informed, be detailed, take charge. The good news is that we have strength here. So here we have two wonderful lions. So almost this very similar card. We have abundance here with the sunflowers and sunflowers grow tall and they're hardy. So there's a sense of strength within the, within the sunflower as well. So strength is saying, look, here are all these swords popping up for you. Adversity, challenges, maybe setbacks or obstacles, worry. You have the strength to deal with whatever you need to deal with. You have it in your heart. You have the courage, you have the fortitude, and you will be able to do this. And you're going to do it through, you know, not being impulsive, but being kind and generous, not only to others, but most importantly to yourself. And having this compassion and empathy and soft touch 
as you process and as you move forward through things. Strength is uh, the message that everyone has the inner strength to handle the obstacles and the tough, the tough things that happen to us. And so you do rely on your strength, rely on your smarts in order to address some, maybe some bumps in the road. You do have success. You have the power of the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords, and you have time for yourself to, to, to catch up and to restore and to re-energize. And you will get past the worry, and um, you can focus on you know, a path going forward. So let's see what we have in terms of an affirmation from the week from the Oracle cards. Gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. Well, we certainly have success here. And strength, you know, strength is your inner strength. It's your compass to move forward. So patience and you will have, you'll be able to walk through this path. And finally, let's choose a card for love and we'll see what message we have for love. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. A beautiful thought, a beautiful message for the week, which is through all the setbacks or the challenges that you face, 